Hello, everybody. What's good? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Uh, let me know if you're hearing me loud and clear. Um, who's with us today? Arco, welcome. How's it going, buddy? Andreas is here. Chad, welcome. Good to see you guys. Um, it's a beautiful morning here in Vancouver. As you can see, I guess I'm a little backlit on this uh, on this view, aren't I? <laughs> uh, hopefully you can see the clear blue skies behind me. Jason, how's it going? Welcome. Okay, I'm coming through. That's good. We're off to a good start, folks. Um, man, we got a good one today. We got a really good one. Uh, I guess I'm just going to dive right into it because um, we got a lot of submissions to go through. Loud and clear. Okay, great. No snow. Yeah, there's no snow here. Um, Arco asks uh, if that that uh, that intro track was my track. No, it isn't. Actually, you know what? That intro track you heard on the uh, on the waiting screen is from last year's challenge. I can't remember what month it was, but it was um, basically the challenge where all of the members wrote uh, helped write a single track. That was a really fun one. <laughs> um, I think the track is called All Around the World Together. I can't remember what we we decided to name it. Sorry, I'm forgetting that right now. <laughs> but that was a really fun challenge. Hey, Benjamin, welcome. Who else we got? Sil, welcome. Thanks for joining me here. Um, okay, so what's going on? Um, lots, to, lots to talk about. Lots to talk about here. Well, first of all, hello and welcome to uh, the Academy Monthly Livestream Challenge Showcase. <laughs> uh, it's great to be here with you all. Um, and uh, yeah, drop a hello in the comments. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know uh, where you are in the world. Um, this live, st live stream is brought to you as always uh, by the Production Music Academy. Dot com. <laughs> Make sure to check that out uh, if you're not already part of this amazing uh, worldwide community of uh, talented uh, media composers. My name is Stevie B, and uh, today we are showcasing everybody's entry for February's challenge. And uh, we are officially a week behind schedule. Uh, I usually do these showcases on um, the first Wednesday of the month, but my wife and I took a short week-long trip down to uh, the California desert, um, went through Joshua Tree, uh, got some much-needed sunshine, and uh, I may still have a bit of color in my face. Hopefully, it's showing a little. I don't know. Probably not. Um, I got to say, it was nice to get some sunshine, some serious sunshine, uh, in the middle of uh, the Canadian winter. I've never done that before. That was really, really cool. Um, so anyway, I'm back and, uh, uh today's sh uh, challenge showcase is all about trailer music. Um, and I'm not going to lie folks. Uh, I got a lot more submissions here than I thought I would get because quite frankly, this is a tough challenge, a uh, really tough challenge. And as usual, the Academy members were more than willing to step up to the plate and give trailer music uh, a shot. So, uh, many of you for the very first time, which is uh, seriously commendable because uh, you know writing a trailer cue is tough. It's intimidating, uh, straight up. Um, now, February of this year was, or last month, you know, it was all about trailer music. So I, I, uh, I released a course called Trailer Music Trilogy, uh, part three, of that trilogy is going live later this month. Uh, many of the members have already gone through parts one and two of this course, which is basically an exploration of uh, orchestral and hybrid trailer music. Um, I also provide quite a few resources in the course. Maybe I'll just pull up the course actually, because I got, I got it here on the screen. I'll show you what the curriculum looks like. Let's put it on DAW view here. Um, yeah, so we got like this fundamental section here, which goes through all the basics, but, uh, 
included in the course is uh, a couple of MIDI packs. We've got the Action Strings MIDI pack, uh, the Trailer Progressions MIDI pack. Um, we have trailer hybrid trailer stems from the track um, from one of my songs that you can uh, analyze for mixing and like and and mixing practice or just kind of you know picking it apart. I know that kind of helps to have the stems sometimes. And then basically, yeah, parts one and two are writing a hybrid trailer from scratch, you know, everything from first idea to, to the mixed uh, mix and master uh, mastering process, and then writing an orchestral trailer. And then the third module, which is coming soon, is all about writing trailer covers. So um, yeah, that's the course. Uh, many of the members have taken it uh, already. And uh, I think that you know, hopefully it was helpful for, for this challenge. Um, what else do I got to say? Many, um, yeah, the, sorry, just uh, making sure that we're all, I'm still connected here. Yeah, we're good. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, got a little distracted there. Um, if you are interested in a free trailer uh, MIDI pack and sample pack, uh, please, click the link in the description of this uh, of this video. You can join my mailing list and uh, you can keep uh, up to date on all of the latest events and the deals that I've got coming up. And by all means, check out productionmusicacademy.com. I'd love to have you uh, in, the, in the community. If you're not already, uh, join the fun, join these challenges. They're a lot of fun. Just checking back on, uh, on the comments here. Who else is here? Spencer, welcome. Chris is in the house. Signature Music Services. Hello, hello. Good to see you guys. Joining from Utah. Awesome. Okay, great. James is here. Welcome, James. Okay. Shall we? Who's first? Um, we have a submission here from Mitch Lantane. Now, I should mention actually that there was kind of like a bonus points <laughs> um, part of this challenge where you could um, create some video for uh, for your trailer, and uh, uh, a few of you, a few of you uh, did that, and everyone did an amazing job. Um, I know that was like a lot of extra work. Uh, for for those who, uh, who who made the video component of the trailer um, using stock uh, royalty free footage, of course, because otherwise, you know, my stream would get shut down, I suppose. But I believe Mitch sent me an MP4 file, so let me dig that up. And uh, I should also mention that I have a bit of feedback for everybody. Sometimes I come to these streams like a little un underprepared, and I don't really have a whole lot of like constructive feedback. Um, for the submissions, but I wrote a few notes for everybody um, and hopefully, you know, that'll help a bit. So let me change this view to DA and let's check out um, <clears throat> this track by Mitch. Let me know if you guys uh, can hear the music loud and clear and I don't, I'm hopefully the, the levels, uh, the output levels for the music aren't going to be um, overkill. I don't want anyone's track to sound like uh, distorted or anything, but Hopefully that won't be the case here. Uh, let's check it out. Here we go. This uh, this track is called Altered Space. Here we go.
Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Super epic. Great job, Mitch. Um, one second here. Just want to make sure that I'm going to check with the comments here and make sure that um, you guys all hear that loud and clear. Yeah. Okay. Looks looks good. To the con to the conquest of the moon. <laughs> okay. Loud and clear. Great. Great. Um, amazing. Uh, okay. So Mitch uh, wrote me a, a little bit of information here that I'll share with you. Uh, Mitch says, this is my first submission to Production Music Academy as I am a new member. Welcome. That's awesome. Um, I know there are opportunities to make this better, so I'm looking forward to some feedback on it. Cool. <clears throat> In addition to the music, I created the entire video as well. I uh, pulled some stock uh, footage and used Final Cut Pro to edit it. Uh, the link includes downloads uh, to both video. Oh, yeah, I don't need to read that. Um, as far as inspiration, I started using the technique of referencing a trailer from uh, Trailer Music World. Um, that's a, a YouTube channel um, for the basic structure of uh, intensity opening act one with build act two, act three outro. Uh, from there, I just created the melody from what came to me at the moment. Sweet. I was also picturing what I would do for a trailer video, which helped inspire uh, me as I went on. Yeah, it's so it's so useful to have video to, to write to, that's for sure. Um, for the music, I use the following libraries, Spitfire Abbey Road 1, uh, Spitfire Cinematic Pads, Action Strikes, Juggernaut, Olympus Elements for Choir, uh, The Grander Piano, and Exhale from Output. Uh, samples from Splice and Output Arcade. Fantastic. Um, yeah, Mitch. I mean, this is this is a great trailer uh, and a, and a great submission to start this whole um, live stream off with. I think that I only wrote like one little note here, and that was pertaining to some of these like lower um, staccatos that you had, like especially throughout your build up section here. I really like what's going on with like don't 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 don't, 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 don't. Like I, you got this nice representation in, in the low end uh, with those staccatos. And it seems that it through, throughout this whole like clim climactic uh, section here, um, that you kind of start with the, like I can, there, there's a bit of that in this section, but it kind of fades away towards the end. And I think that maybe it's because you were trying to make room for um, this epic buildup of like hits and which which you did really well, but I noticed that they kind of uh, fade away throughout this this section. Like there's a like I'll just play it again. So there's like dun 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 dun, dun. and then by the end of it, they kind of lose steam a bit and and uh, kind of you know that they that they're not as present. Um, in the mix anymore. So you have like all these like you know these these big fat trailer hits, but um, the 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 low end representation melodically mel melodically gets a little bit um, lost in the mix throughout this last section. And I would have that was the only kind of thing that I picked up on uh, the first time I heard it was like it would be nice to get a little bit more continuity. Uh, with the low end throughout this last bit. Um, hopefully that's uh, that's helpful. But uh, man, this is a, a fantastic uh, submission. Thank you so much and welcome to the Academy, man. Great stuff. Okay, next up, we have a track from Mr. Alex B, who I believe is in the stream. What's up, Alex? How's it going? Alex B from Brazil. Um, this is a track called uh, Winter Solstice. And um, Alex wrote that the inspiration for this track was the Trailer Music Trilogy course. Awesome. Uh, I had absolutely no experience in this genre before that, but I learned a lot studying the lectures and putting this track together. Um, due to my unusually high 
uh, motion ray payout from January, I managed to upgrade to a Mac M1. Nice. And now I can uh, run different libraries on my computer. Isn't that nice? <laughs> um, the libraries I used include a mix of Logic's stock VSTs and, and one shots for, uh, for risers and impact sounds uh, by the Sun Samples Void uh, for uh, sound effects, which is absolutely uh, one of the best ones out there for sure. If anyone's listening and wants a really great freebie, um, download Void by, by the Sun Samples. It's great. Um, a combination of output arcade and east-west opus for strings, brass, and vocals. Uh, the piano is orchestral tools from Spitfire Felt Piano. Um, uh, free spit, uh, sorry, free spindle felt piano. Uh, I'm using arcades and East West free trial to decide which one I'll sign up uh, to later. Arcade is currently winning because it's easier and fun, funner to use. Is that is so, Alex? Is that the official decision, man? Are you going with output arcade? Um, East West. I, I had East West at one point too. Um, I have thoughts about about uh, about all of that, but I don't want to get too. Uh, too lost in all of that because uh, we got to keep the train running here. So let's listen to Alex's uh, submission here. This is called Winter Solstice. Here we go. Sweet, dude, killing it. Um, I love that this is like your first time uh, tackling trailer music. That's really impressive, man. Um, uh, there's so much that I love about this track. I love those like uh, string staccatos that you're using uh, sort of in in the ambient background in the climax section. Um, really, really cool track. Uh, very, very creative, epic. Uh, for sure, 100%. Um, there's a few things that I picked up that hopefully will help. Um, first of all, just I, I, I noticed that there's a few very subtle clicks and pops in in the uh, in the recording. Maybe that was from the bounce or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I pick one up. I don't know if you heard that. It's very very quiet, but there's a few of those um, nestled in to the track here and there, just so. Um, 
uh, just something to, to, to take a look at. Um, in terms of like the, the, the composition or the arrangement itself, I might have opted to just put a little bit more space in between these sections to give it, uh, you know, um, a, a bit more of an epic run up, but, uh, uh, you know, maybe like a, a bit more silence. I might have just, I mean, I don't know. It's its just a, a, my two cents. I would have stretched that out a bit further. Um, also, I also would have left um, uh, the, like some of the, I love the vocals uh, that you're using, um, but I would have maybe left those for like the, the, the like a very specific, um, you know, in, in the climax, especially, you know, I would have, I wanted, I would have left them as, as being like kind of like something special for the very end, um, if that makes sense, because they're kind of used throughout the whole track, which is cool because it gives the track kind of a sense of, of continuity. Um, but say like leaving them in this like kind of build up section here or leaving them out of the build up section, uh, maybe as, as an option would have given this whole ending climactic section a bit more uh, power. That, that, that was something that, uh, I don't know, take it or leave it, I thought might have uh, helped in some way. Also, just um, a few tiny little, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> a few little sync issues. Like I noticed that maybe, like just, it's really, really, you know, a small deal, but the, like the, the hit, the impact hit there and, and the vocal is a little out of sync. Just little things like that, just, you know, to tighten it up. Um, but yeah, man, like otherwise absolutely loved uh, this track. Fantastic work, dude. What a what a first time trailer track. Holy cow. Amazing work. Okay, Michael, you're next. Um, what did Michael have to say? It's a dark anticipation, suspenseful uh, horror uh, trailer. Oh yeah, you know what? Mike, Michael sent me some um, some video initially, which was so cool. I wish I could share it with you guys, but unfortunately, um, the video wasn't royalty free footage. And, uh, so I didn't want, um, a copyright strike of course on, on the stream, but, uh, I will give Michael big props for, uh, for sending me that video because it was actually really cool. It was pretty freaky. Um, who else is in the stream? Jathan, welcome. Good to see you. Okay, so let's check out Michael's work. Here we go. Horrific Encounter.
<laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Michael, great, great submission. Uh, super freaky. Uh, I wouldn't want to listen to that late at night home alone. <laughs> it's pretty scary. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I, I had a few notes uh, for you. And um, overall, I think that the, the, it's a, it was a great, it, there's a great use of texture and ambience um, in, in this in this track and I love all of the um, like you know there's a lot of big hits and everything it's it, and I think it would have made a lot more sense to see the video with this uh, because it really did match uh, the, the vibe of the video that you sent uh, but the one thing that I was going to say is that like the the, the percussive hits uh, in particular or like, like they felt a bit randomly placed and um it would have been cool to, I guess, to hear a bit more uh, structured percussive rhythm uh, to match. Like, for example, like you have some, um, like this this creepy piano riff that you got going on. I really like that. This thing. But it seems like the hits kind of just come out of nowhere. Um, and it would have been cool to maybe work some more rhythmic uh, structure into the track based a rock, based off of the uh, you know the tempo of that um, of that piano riff, uh, I think that would have actually really really helped a lot. So that's the only uh, you know the only feedback that I have for you is that some of these uh, these hits are, are just feel like um, they're they're just kind of placed off the grid. But certainly, certainly, like you got the spooky vibes down a hundred percent, and it's cool. I think this is the only submission that was really kind of in this vein, like really, like uh, intentionally freaky, scary horror uh, style. So, so well done. Uh, really unique submission for sure. Um, okay, who's up next? We got Nick, Sound Jam Studios, Nick. Um, oh, Nick sent me a, a video. Let's check that out. Uh, gotta find it. Here we go. Uh, this is called Galactic Gateway. Uh, let me just read you what Nick sent me over here first. Um, this is the this is the first hybrid epic trailer I've written. Uh, it was inspired by your uh, hybrid trailer course, awesome, uh, which helped me out so much. Uh, the VSTs used in this track were uh, Albion 1, Evolution De Devastator, Spitfire Audio, uh, Drama Toolkit, Ava Eminence, Cerberus Drums. Yeah, these are a lot of like staples for me. It's awesome. Synths, um, Native Instruments, Analog Dreams, East West, uh, Albion 1, Stevenson, Steven, uh, Steam Band, uh, Albion 1, Strings, Vocals from East West. Cool. Let's check it out. Here we go.
<laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you for sending. <laughs> I love that outro. Nice. Oh, man, great job, Nick. That was that was really, really cool. Um, to the moon and back. I love it. Um, yeah, I mean, awesome. Awesome work. I, I did have a few notes here that I took down. Let me find these notes. Let me find these notes for you. Um, so yeah, okay. The, the, there's two things I would point out. Um, I love the the energy overall. Uh, it's badass. It's a really great trailer. I, I noticed that um, some of the effects that you're using, like some of the risers and like and like the the trailer hits and stuff like that, they sound like suspiciously very mono. Uh, I don't know if you're like intentionally narrowing it in the stereo field. Um, I don't know if it's maybe the way you're you're processing it. I don't know if you guys can hear like I don't, I'm not sure who out there is listening on headphones or, and if they if you guys are picking that up too. Uh, but it is noticeable in some sections in particular, uh, like because you have this juxtaposition of like uh, some elements that are very spread, like the like the choir for example sounds very stereo, um, and then you have these very like narrow this very like kind of mono ish band of uh, of like hits. And effects. So I'd be curious to know w if that was intentional or if that's you know something to do with the way that you're processing it. I'm not sure, um, but that is something that I picked up that maybe is worth taking a, a second look at. And um, the other one thing I would point out is uh, there is a few flams. Like I can't remember exactly where it is. I, I wrote like 217, but just things that could be tightened up a little bit. Um, yeah, just like, you know, it, it, these are tiny little details, but like you got two uh, like low thuddy sort of kick s sounding hits here that are like being flammed. And I, th I think there, that might have happened once or twice um, elsewhere in the track too. Uh, just little things to kind of tighten up with the sync. Um, that would be uh, something to point out as well. But uh, man, yeah, fantastic work. Loved it. Uh, next up, we've got Jathan, Jathan Sparks. Jathan, how you doing, man? Glad to have you in this stream and really glad to showcase your work. Jathan is probably one of my longest standing uh, supporters uh, back in the Patreon days. I think you were one of the first uh, to sign up to my Patreon. So big shout out to you, man. And um, really, really excited to showcase your work today. This is called uh, They Always Come Back. Let's check it out. Oh, actually, I should just let you know. Uh, Jathan wrote a, f a few things for me to note here. Um, this is my very first attempt at writing a trailer track. Okay, awesome. Uh, although production music is my focus, I have been really striving to learn trailer music in as many forms as I can. I'm actually enjoying stepping out of my comfort zones. Um, using some sound design, I field recorded myself. Oh, very cool and uh, manipulated using Omnisphere. Uh, also various contact instruments and other libraries. I can go into details, but I'm not sure if it's necessary. Uh, this track was inspired by me thinking of the church seat scene beneath uh, the Planet of the Apes, the, the choir underscore part. Cool. Also Jason Bourne. Uh, I didn't copy any part. They were only uh, inspiration to help me think and feel in this direction. Uh, they always come back would be my take on some type of future war in space that never ends because uh, the fallen always come back. P.S. I have a very big imagination, which plays into my advantage occasionally. Uh, awesome, dude. That's great. Um, okay, here we go. Let's check it out.
Yes. Fantastic. Great work, Jathan. Um, you know, there's so much about this this trailer that uh, I like. Uh, there's th this choir uh, opening is so beautiful. I love that. Um, you got the trailer vibe absolutely down. You know, I also I also should mention that um, the space that you're leaving in between your sections here uh, is is great. That's really important. It's something that actually a lot of uh, a lot of the submissions kind of didn't do is put like a very defined amount of space and, and silence between um, uh, the sections here. And you did that really well. Like that's a rather long one, but it just adds, I don't know, I just, I like it. It just adds some really nice impact coming into your uh, climactic section here. Um, so yeah, I love the I love the power behind it and the attention to detail. Like you you got like those cool like that that stutter riser in there, for example. I love that kind of stuff. Uh, a lot of character. Um, what I might point out is that throughout this this climax climactic section here uh, in the end, um, I feel I felt like the the percussive energy gets kind of it, it gets a little s uh, choked out um, as you continue continue to like kind of throttle up the energy. Um, and the intensity, and this is this is always the the toughest thing um, is to get that percussive percussive energy to really shine through while also featuring you know like the, the many other things in the track like the staccatos and and the brass and like and, and everything else right so like for this style of trailer though I I would have um, I would have opted to put those percussive elements like a little bit more forward in the mix and then kind of work around that, uh, if that makes any sense. So like I would have probably, if I was mixing it, I would have been like, okay, like here's the level for the percussion. It's going to be nicely up front and in your face. And then I'm going to work uh, some of the other elements um, to kind of, uh, you know, gel around the percussion being like super forward in the mix, if that makes any sense. That's just my two cents, like uh, on... Uh, it, like in terms of the mix, I, I just felt like uh, things get like a little um, choked out and I would have loved to hear that epic percussion a little bit more clearly. It's not that you can't hear it. It's not, it's, it's not like far off or anything like that. But um, yeah, that's just something that I, I noticed. Hopefully that's... Uh, uh, that's helpful. Some of the, um, uh, so in terms of the, the build up here, I felt like maybe something in the low mids could be a bit cleared up too. Like there might be a bit more space you can carve out to, to, to help with the clarity. But overall, I think this is, uh, yeah, this is a fantastic uh, track, man. And I'm really, uh, really happy to share this with everyone today. And yeah, thank you so much for sending it over, Jathan. Great job, man. Okay, next up, we have Andreas. What's going on, Andreas? He's in the stream, I believe. Um, this is your first big trailer. Okay, this is my first trailer composition. Man, so many people uh, have sent over submissions and literally, literally their first time tackling this genre. That's like, that's amazing. I love it. Um, yeah, we got uh, Jaeger. Uh, in the mix here um, from Audio Imperia, I believe, and uh, the hits and risers, vocals. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got your some of your own vocals in the mix here too, which is really, really cool. Let's check this track out. This is called, uh, oh, I guess the title's just called First Big Trailer. Here we go. we 
Yeah, yes. Awesome, dude. I love big bonus points for uh, put, getting your own vocals into the trailer. That's that's fantastic. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, the, the, a couple of things that I noticed is that, I, I mean, and this is just not, uh, again, it's not a big a deal, but um, the track comes out with a lot of energy right off the gates, which isn't like, you know, a faux pas or anything like that. But I thought that it might've been cool to keep it um, a bit more open and minimal in the intro. You could have stretched it out because I mean it's 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 pretty short and sweet, which is cool. Um, but I feel like you could have had like maybe a sort of like a not an am, like a super ambient intro or anything, but something just kind of like to set up for this energy, which just kind of like breaks right out of the gates, like right from the get go. Um, so yeah, that's just that's just a thought. Um, take it or take it or leave it. And um, let me see, I got some some other notes here. I lost them. Oh, there they are. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, again, I love that you got your own vocals in there. Every challenge you've ever sent for the Academy, you've always put your own unique stamp on it. And I can't stress enough how important I think that is. Um, so originality points big time. Um, I should also point out that Andreas sent me an earlier version of this. And I uh, and, and he and you made some really important revisions, um, namely that you added a bit of space in between um, uh, your sections, which is which is so important. Um, you know, like I think that that is like a key factor for like a good trailer track is just having a bit of space in between your sections because I mean that's going to help for editing essentially. So that kind of build up and stuff that was sort of lacking in the, in the initial. Uh, track you sent over so some uh, some great improvements there um key change key change i don't think this is i think this is something i didn't address, uh, address when you sent over the track the first time um i think the, the key changes are they're a bit risque in, in in trailer music i guess uh because i think I, I, I like it's important to have a sense of continuity between the sections um your key change is very it's very sly you kind of sneak it in there um and I don't even know if it's like a, like a, like, I don't know. I think this is right around here, right? It's, it's definitely not like it's, it kind of morphs from the, like from C being the, like the tonal center to, to, to D. So it goes up a couple steps there. Um, and it's kind of cool. Like it's cool. It's not, uh, it's not um uh totally out of bounds um but i would say that you know all things considered uh like a, a key change is, is a bit risky um in terms of the licensability um and and the continuity factor so just something to keep in mind um also i i might point out some of the delayed uh, the delay that you're using on the percussion like for example in the end here I I would say that probably best to to cut off the delay um, so that you have like a really nice kind of like solid button ending. Just a thought, just a, some a, something small to consider. But uh, man, yeah, fantastic track, and uh, as always, great to uh, feature your work, Andreas. Awesome. Okay, next up, we have a track from Peter Cole. Oh, uh, Peter Cole sent me a movie, I believe. Let's check this movie out. This is a track called Awaken. And uh, from Peter, he says, Hi, Stephen, I've provided an, uh, a movie file here for the visuals. I hope it isn't too long. My track comes in around 2.45. Uh, then there's a long fade to black. Uh, I was inspired to do this after taking the trailer course. Um, I really just want to do a traditional epic trailer in the orchestral hybrid style. Okay. Awesome, man. Let's check it out. Oops.
Amazing. Nice work, Peter. Damn. PeterCold.com. Check it out. Um, yeah, man. Great, great stuff. That's fantastic. Um, and I love the visuals. I love the visuals. That was really, really nice. Um, okay, so I should mention that uh, this is another track that I got to review before Peter sent uh, over this video. Uh, and what we heard, what we just heard, is a revised version. And Peter, I just want to say that the revision is a massive improvement from the what you sent me originally. So well done on that. Um, the initial track had kind of like. Um, a high pass filter applied to a lot of like the big trailer hits and the the low end of those hits was drastically cut off it's a it's a it's a thing i've noticed in a few other submissions too which i'll, I'll try to point out uh, where i can but we really want to be careful not to like cut off the uh the balls of those nice like big fat trailer hits uh, and that was the that was my main criticism when you sent over the track initially so I'm really glad that you got a chance to fix that uh, before you sent it over, man. Uh, really, really nice work. Uh, awesome video. Awesome trailer. Um, there is like one thing I'd point out, and this is just one of these little tiny things I'm going to pick on, um, is that there's like, I don't know how to describe it exactly, but there's like this sizzling sort of percussive noise. Um, where does it start? It starts right here, I guess. It's, it's, it's like it's kind of a buzzing thing at the top. Um, it's not. It's not that it sounds terrible or anything like that. It's a little bit abrasive in the mix throughout this whole kind of build-up section. It fits in a little nice, nicer in your in your climax. Um, but I thought that it was I don't know almost like too bright and and distracting um, in the mix throughout this throughout the section. So um, it's not that it sounds uh, uh, awful on its own, um, but Maybe something to adjust volume wise. It's just a little tiny thing that I picked up. Um, it is what it is. Let me catch up with the comments. I've been uh, neglecting, neglecting the comments here. Thank you, Steve, for the feedback. Yeah, my, my pleasure, man. Florophonics says, "Hey, Stevie B, big fan of your work. I also sent, sell a ton of MA, uh, tell a ton on Motion Array. I was uh, grinding hard the last month, but sales are." our flat first month. I have uh, not seen growth for almost a year. How's your sales this month? Um, sales this month are a little bit better than they were last month. Well, I think that, you know, typically the first couple of months on Motion Array of the year are, are slow. Um, I put in a track uh, just recently that got like a staff pick. So um, that helped a little bit for this month. So we're on a good roll for this month. But yeah, I mean, overall, it's like Motion Array is like, you know, on average, uh, it's like most months are great. And then you have, you have, I usually have like at least last year going on last year, two or three months do epically well. So that kind of, um, averages things out. Love the climax and ending. Yeah, for sure. Awesome track. Okay. Awesome. So, uh, who do we got next? Catalan. Uh, this is called Cyberpunk Epic Trailer. Let's check it out.
Ooh, nice. Beautiful. Yeah, great, great work, man. Um, oops, let me just pause this. Uh, oh, almost played that all over again. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is awesome, Catalan. Uh, fantastic. Thanks for sending it over. Um, Catalan mentioned that uh, he started this project back in 2018, actually, and it was a six-minute mess of EDM drums, rock guitars, and epic piano. With age came wisdom, and I was able to reshape it into something useful. Well, that's good. Man, that's that's crazy. That's really old. I don't think I've, I've ever revamped a session from like three or four years ago. Um, those are the, all my sessions from three or four, four years ago are long gone and lost on various hard drives. <laughs> so good job on that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I love the mix and the, and the composition, the, uh, the intro with the um, intro, especially with like the mechanical uh, percussion, <clears throat> excuse me, and like the Vangelis, like, you know, chords. Uh, that, that's that's awesome, man. Uh, so much vibe. Um, then as you, you know, introduce the rhythmic like synths lovely uh honestly i love it the only thing i would say um that is that you like i guess per like personally i would have trailerified it a bit more um in terms of you know if it's going to be like an epic trailer then i would have um you know i would have put those like the big trailer hits more up front in the mix and i probably would have used more of them too uh, and just leaned into the like trailer esque aspect of it a little more. Uh, like if I were to to do a remix of it, uh, I would really employ those those trailer hits often, and they would be like you know right kind of you know just up front smack in your face. That's just my my style of doing things. I would have leaned into it a bit more, but not a, a huge criticism of the track so much as it's just kind of like a stylistic choice. Um, like I would have just wanted to make it very clear to the listener that it was in fact a trailer rather than like a synthwave, um, you know, track with an intro build up and climactic section, if that makes any sense, uh, which were well-defined by the way. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, I love the style. Uh, and actually I've wanted to do uh, a synthwave style trailer forever now. And, uh, you've totally inspired me to, to get to work on that. So thanks, man. Uh, love the style. Great stuff. Okay, moving on. Next, we have a track from Sylvain. This is a um, this is a track called "Another Vision," and um, Sylvain mentioned uh, I got inspired by watching the courses available on Production Music Academy and by watching the YouTube channel uh, Composing Academy. Okay, cool, great. Mostly use Cubase VSTs with a Hellion with a Hellion Sonic Orchestra add-on, which seems to be quite old. Um, this is the first song of the style that I've created. Uh, took all my free time this month. Uh, a real challenge. Well, man, congrats on uh, putting the work in. That's that's amazing. Um, it certainly is a big challenge. It is a tough challenge. Uh, but as I said in the forum, I learned a lot and had a lot of fun. Okay, great. Let's just give it a listen. Here we go.
Awesome. Okay. Oh, one second. Thank you, Sylvain, for sending that over. Um, some thoughts, some thoughts. Uh, let me just pull up my notes here. Um, keep on losing them. There we are. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, first of all, first of all, before anything, I want to commend you for making the most of Cubase stock VSTs. Um, that is a challenge in and of itself. And I would know because I just did the same thing for uh, for like a lo-fi track, just using only Cubase stock stuff. And I think that you're correct in pointing out that the sounds are a bit dated, uh, or at least they're kind of limited in, in dimension. So, um, you know, it's it's tough. It's tough if you don't have access to like the right samples for uh, and the right like sound sources for uh, for trailer music. Um, but sample selection aside, um, there's a few very small things that I could point out that would likely be really easy fixes uh, for you. And I know you spent an enormous amount of time uh, on this one, so I, I I don't want. I hope you don't mind a little bit of feedback. Uh, I don't want to pick it apart totally. Um, it's great. Uh, one thing I noticed right off the bat is like the waveform. If you like, if you look at it here, it's like it, it might be a little over compressed, or at least I would try to kind of um, create a bit more of like a ramp up in, in volume and energy throughout the track. That's something that's important for for trailer music. Uh, everything here is is kind of just like maximum, um, uh, you know, full, is, is around roughly the same sort of volume output. Um, in your intro section, you've got these kind of low, mid sort of sounding risers that sound really cool. They pop up every four bars or so, and they sound interesting. Um, I just wanted to point out that this is another like kind of just a small sync issue to, to pick on. Let me see if I can kind of point out because they don't really line up properly with the with the one of the bar and you could easily just nudge those, I think, and they would sound a bit better. Where are they? Oh, maybe it's here. So those kind of like sounds, it sounds kind of like you're underwater, like. Like they kind of stop right before the, the like the, the one of the bar, if you know what I mean. Um, so I would, I would adjust those so that they're, they're kind of lining up and syncing with the rhythm a bit more. Uh, super easy fix. Um, and also another thing, that I would point out, and maybe this is kind of like connected to the the, the first comment I made about just like ramping up the, the the energy. I mean, you do have like a nice kind of spacious feel um, in the intro. Um, it's it, it is like you are building things up properly, um, but I did notice that in like this this build up section here. Like you got these cool trailer effects happening. Like you got these like, you know, um, these big hits and risers and, and that, that kind of stuff. And I think that that's the right move uh, for your buildup. But that is, those same elements are kind of absent from, from your climactic section. Um, and instead you have this, you know, this kind of this cool like marching uh, band snare happening throughout the section, but it's kind of lacking the same type of like trailer-esque energy um, that is present in your buildup. So I just wanted to point that out to you. That's kind of like a continuity issue. Um, but I like the space that you put in here between these sections, for example. And I like, you know, what's going on with the melody and, and the chords that you're using in this climactic section. I would have just employed more of that same type of like uh, epic sort of energy using those hits, using those risers throughout the section a bit more. Uh, just something something simple that you could you could do um, to to uh, yeah, you know, make it a bit more epic, I suppose. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, one last thing, not to pick on you, uh, but the, the the one thing I notice is that these like low brams that you're using here, like right here, for example, and also at the end, especially at the end, um, I would transpose that up uh, a few steps so that you're you're hitting like the the tonal, the, the you know the key of of the track because it feels like it's like two three three steps to uh, below. And it, it doesn't feel like a conclusive um, ending there, just harmonically. There's a bit of dissonance. 
So uh, just something to point out. Those are three things that you could easily, um, you know, fix. It wouldn't require you having to like reinvent the whole uh, tune. It would be like you could do it in a few minutes. So I hope that feedback helps, man. And uh, yeah, just want to say, yeah, amazing work. Thank you for for sending that over. And thanks, thanks for putting so much time um, and effort into the submission. I know it was tough. And uh, and yeah, big big props to you for doing that. So uh, awesome work. Okay, next up, Rob, also known as Solar Score. Um, this is a track called Through the Valleys. And uh, Rob sent me some notes here. Uh, I decided to go a different route from orchestral slash hybrid trailers and make a guitar-based U2-esque tra uh, track, which hopefully evokes the grand scenery of a USA road trip. Damn, I wish I had this track before I went on my own little road trip last week. Um, a touch of drama added as well. I've sprinkled in some synths and ear candy booms and risers too. I've split up, uh, split it up into three sections, short intro, second act, and a third act, which is repeated after a bit of an interlude, uh, potentially one to include in my motion array application. Let's check it out. Here we go. Nice. Love that. Ah, oh, the end. <laughs> That's great, man. Great job, Rob. Um, yeah, I have a few thoughts. I have a few thoughts about this track. Uh, it's beautiful, uh, first of all. Um, uh, I love I love the ambient spaciousness of the of the mix. You know, uh, especially when you ramp the energy up a bit and um, yeah, and those epic guitars kick in. The guitars sound great, by the way. Uh, I love it. Um, feedback in terms in terms of like i guess my feedback would be kind of similar to catalan's in the sense that i would be leaning into more of like a trailer-esque approach for the mix um i think that maybe like as you pointed out um in your notes that maybe that's not exactly what you were going for but look if i was if i was judging this through the lens of like a trailer um i'd probably be using more like tension epic hits that kind of thing maybe um, they don't have, it doesn't have to be like over the top epic. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's, there's a few, like, for example, there's a few, um, there's a moment here where I thought that you, you added in some nice space to this, like before your climactic ending here, which is really nice. Like, I love that. Um, 
I think that you could have done that here too before this, like right between your kind of intro and build up here. Like that sounds cool. Like I like that that little ramp up, but I would have put some space in there too. Um, and that just like leaning into the trailer vibe just a bit more, if if that makes any sense. Because as much as I absolutely love the track and like and to me this sounds very licensable. By the way, I think it would be a great um, track to include uh, for Motion Array. If you had sent me this for review without the context of being that it was for like a trailer music challenge. Uh, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have like had, I wouldn't have known that it was meant to be like a trailer. And and that's not to say that every trailer has to sound the same or to be, or, or to be epic or, or orchestral, right? Uh, like, I love that you're working outside of the orchestral realm and infusing these like rock uh, style uh, elements into this. But um, regardless, if you gave me this, if you've gave me the stems to this track, and uh, I was tasked with having to do like a trailer remix, remix I would have leaned into the trailer aesthetics, um, you know, a bit more, a bit harder. Um, uh, more obvious like edit points, uh, a lot of tension and release, that kind of thing. Um, so that's just something to think about, um, you know, in terms of its trailer, uh, trailerification. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, like, man, I love, I love the track. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. And uh, definitely kind of uh, gave me like epic road trip vibes. So uh, I think it's it's fantastic and licensable. Um, maybe a little bit more bass in the mix. Uh, it's one other little tiny thing I kind of picked up. But uh, yeah, otherwise, man, <clears throat> thanks again. Great job, Rob. Okay, Chris H. We got a trailer here from tr uh, Chris H. This is called uh, 80s Trailer Q. Here we go. You guys with the 80s nostalgic vibes, man, you got me all like pumped to, <laughs> I love the 80s vibes. I I, I just want to write an Ailey, uh, an 80s style, style trailer. I can't speak right now. I want to write an 80s style trailer uh, as soon as we're finished this stream. I think I'm, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> that's, that's, that's lovely. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if Chris sent me any notes about the, about the track, but um, 
I thought that the, it was like really interesting and there was some cool like textural stuff going on in the intro and, and in the outro. Um, I love that background ambience that you're using. It's very, very cool. Um, really nice epic vibe in the climactic section with the drums, the way you're doing that. I, I really I enjoyed that. Um, I guess my only feedback is that like throughout the, and like, I don't know if this is fair, but my, like throughout the climax section, there's, it feels like the, the mix is a bit cluttered. Like you, there could be a little bit of, you could benefit from a bit of cleaning up of some, there's, it seems to be a bit of masking going on and, uh, and a bit of clutter in the mix. Um, it's hard to say exactly where it's coming from, but I also noticed that the drums sound particularly oversaturated, which makes them feel kind of slightly buried. Um, but that might have been something that you were kind of intentionally going for, just like that those really crunchy sounding drums. I'm assuming that that was a stylistic choice, which is totally cool. Um, I still think that there is a bit of clarity that you could carve out for um, for those drums, perhaps in that section. Um, to give it like that extra super, you know, jolt of, uh, of power throughout this, uh, throughout this climax. But, um, man, yeah, like overall the vibe just, is just awesome. I love it. Great intro, uh, great build up. really, really set, um, set the listener up for this, uh, for this final climax part. Very nice. Thanks, Chris. Okay. We got Mr. James Carter up next. Uh, this is a track called Forward uh, Unto Dawn. Oh, actually, we got a little visualizer for this one. Uh, if I can find it. There we are. Let's check this out. Nice. Cool visualizer, by the way. Um, I love those. Uh, the Oh, yeah, James sent me some notes here. Since, since I didn't take part in last month's challenge, which was to compose a track uh, using only one sample library, I decided to combine these two challenges. Uh, for this track, I only used Sony Score, the Orchestra Complete 2, and Action Strikes, um, also a Sony Score product. Um, this is a track that I've had on the back burner a while and decided now was the right time to finally finish it. I didn't go for a typical cinematic trailer. Instead, I created something with a, uh, more of like a dark fantasy adventure vibe. Uh, the rhythm in particular reminded me of warriors riding their horses onto the battlefield. It definitely has a battlefield vibe. <laughs> uh, I found uh, myself not having to do lots of the, uh, lots with the mix uh, of this track as I find that the sounds from the orchestra to blend quite nicely together. Uh, mastering was done using Ozone 9. So um, yeah, I definitely, I mean, like when I first heard it, I thought like epic battle um, uh, action vibes for sure. Uh, great stuff, uh, short and sweet. Uh, like you said, I think maybe, you know, not going for like the typical cinematic uh, trailer in um in this case and and for that reason i i suppose i would put it more into like the action slash adventure queue uh category than i would for trailer just um simply because there's you know for for one reason is there's no separation uh, between the sections really like in terms of spacing um 
it's kind of just fluid the whole way through. So uh, I think for trailer music, it's just really essential that you have those breaks um, to really define uh, the sections, uh, intro, build up, climax, uh, finale, whatever, uh, outro. Um, and those are those are almost like absolutely necessary for for having those edit points, right? So without them, it it really puts it outside of like the trailer music category. But um, that being said, it's got vibe. I, I think uh, arrangement aside, I would have loved to hear like kind of um, some kind of like melody in the throughout the climactic section that kind of dances fluidly above all of this rhythmic action um that would have been my like main suggestion for us you know just for this ending um is to have that kind of like epic melody because you got like you have a ton of rhythmic elements um which are you know driving the energy forward but it might be it might have been cool to like i was hearing like a brass line or something like that in my head so just a little suggestion, but uh, yeah, great work, man. And uh, and thanks for sending it over. And that's two challenges in one. <laughs> nice work. Uh, cheers, James. Okay, next up, we have a track from Mr. Chad Kaya. Is Chad in the mix? Is Chad in the uh, stream today? I think I saw him earlier. Um, big shout out to Chad. Um, oh, Chris H is in the in the house. Awesome, great. Don't forget to take some water. How about some coffee? Hmm. Forget to take a sip of my coffee here once in a while. Um. Okay. Let's listen to this track from Chad. This is just just called a uh, trailer cue. Oh, the fade out. Bold choice with the fade out. Uh, we'll come back. We'll come back to that to that in a second. Um, dude, epic. Epic. Um, remind me to talk about the fade out. <laughs> um, yeah, shout out to Chad. So yeah, he is he is in the in the mix in the house. 
Um, hope you're doing well, my man. Uh, thanks for sending that over. That is awesome to hear that, dude. And, uh, you know, um, this is another one of, um, uh, there's a few of these tracks where like uh, the, the members sent me, uh, sent it over like a week ago or more um, for like uh, some feedback. And uh, I did give Chad some notes here. Um, and, uh, and dude, I mean, this revision is fantastic. I love it. Um, you did a fan, just an absolutely great job um, at taking some of the notes that I gave you and then reshaping this. It's it's ten times better, uh, in my opinion. So Chad said I took uh, I took your feedback and used all your suggestions on this track. I, I brought in some strings to the outro as well as added some more acoustic guitar to the rest of the track to give it a little more uh, cohesiveness. Um, also re-recorded that strum part and turned it into more of a picking part to chill it out a bit. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Um, used a bunch of the free stuff in your recommended libraries for this track, as well as logic patches. Uh, overall, this was pretty interesting to dive into. I've been intimidated by trailer music. Uh, so this challenge forced me to just dive in. Great. That's what I love to hear, man. Um, yeah, loved, I love the outro, the way that you're like, cause I think initially what you sent me had like a strummed acoustic in the outro. And the way you've changed that into like a picking thing is, I think it really, really suits the track um, a lot nicer. And so I think you, I guess you kind of reversed it because um, initially there was no strumming in the climactic section, if I'm, if I'm thinking about it, if I remember correctly. Uh, and now you've got this uh, guitar strumming and it sounds great. Not super loud, but it's there, you know, I can hear it and it adds a bit to uh, the rhythm and it's just something unique, you know, like a, you don't hear acoustic guitar being strummed in, in, a, in an orchestral trailer. Uh, and uh, that, that adds a lot of, I don't know, just adds some unique character to all of it. Um, so yeah, fade out. Speaking like, you know, from a, a strictly like licensable, licensability standpoint, um, I would say they're definitely something to, to stay away from. Um, you know, not, I, I love fade outs. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I love fade outs. I actually like have written a few tracks uh, in my time that have like some, some fade outs and like, I don't know, it's something, there's something classic about it, I guess. Maybe something kind of like, it was that sort of, it was sort of a, a like a, like a trend, like a sixties or seventies trend, maybe, I don't know, to have fade outs. Um, and I, I love them. There's something about them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting really caught up in this whole fade out thing. Uh, but I would probably stay away from it uh, in terms of like a licensing track or a trailer track. Um, and uh, yeah, the string staccatos in uh, throughout the, the, the whole climax here. Um, I would maybe just a, a small suggestion, but I would look at maybe like doubling them up an octave, at least through the back half so that they're kind of like a little bit more present in the mix, they kind of get buried towards the end uh, a little. Um, so that was one little uh, comment that I had, but man, dude, I, I just like got to give you huge props for, um, for taking some of the, the initial suggestions and, uh, and really running with them. I mean, it's, uh, it is quite an improvement from what uh, you sent me uh, originally, just really beautiful track, dude. So thanks again. Um, next up, we got uh, we got Gary, Gary Burmet. Um, this is called Battle of the Kitchen Sink. Love that title. Uh, I'm gonna turn the gain up on this track a little bit because I'm seeing that it's quite quiet. Let's bring this up a bit. Okay, and let's solo this. Here we go. Did Gary send me some notes? Yes, he did. Sorry, I'll just read these quickly. Decided to get in deep with this one. Every individual patch of Albion 1. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of patches in Albion 1, isn't there? Uh, plus some Abbey Road and BBC. It was pretty overwhelming. Uh, drums are a mix of uh, Abraham Laboreal Jr. and Storm Drum 3. Caught Trailer Giant on a flash sale in December, so tried to learn it real quick. Pads are Dunescape. Nice. And Polaris. Uh, couldn't budget a choir, so Micah's choir and Gaelic voices from Piano Book, plus 8DO's new studio soprano and uh, Rapture teaser uh, from Sound Iron with a single voice from Talon. Uh, I like how you can buy this one voice at a time. Cool. I'll have to check that one out. Uh, 
I know it needs some mix help, but I'm pretty okay with it for a first timer. Another first timer, here we go. Thanks, Gary. Let's check this out. Nice. Great work, Gary. Uh, thanks for sending that over, man. Um, cool application of the, some of the choir, choral elements there. I remember I, I used Micah's choir in, uh, in a track I, I did last year, and I love that library. But I got to check out Gaelic Voices. I downloaded it, but I haven't uh, uh, dug into it yet. Um, yeah, awesome work, man. So look, look, I, I think that you got the, I think, you got the right mindset going into this challenge. And I know uh, you put a lot of work into this. So and I don't want to tear it down um, in any way, I want to give you uh, as constructive feedback as I can. Um, but I will say, I would say that um, there's a lot of, it feels like there's a lot of conflicting ideas. Like there's a lot of creativity. I can hear there's like a lot of uh, ideas being thrown um, at it. Um, and if there was one thing that I could suggest that might help, is that it would be to like simplify things a little bit um, and, and streamline it a little. And also to kind of like define the chord progression a bit more because if it felt as though like the chord progression has like kind of like a lack of tonal center, if it's, it's hard to kind of, you know, explain that without actually kind of going in and like, you know, and like, um, and really getting into details, but um, it's sort of difficult to figure out what the the core progression uh, like is, is trying to say exactly. And it's a bit harmonically uh, dissonant in, in certain parts. So uh, I, I would say that maybe that's something to focus on. Um, this is, why I tend to like I tend to write very specific piano sketches for um, for the tr for my trailers before I I get to throwing like a lot of you know um, textural and uh, and like melodic ideas at them I like to have like a very very set idea of like okay what exactly are the chords I'm using um, and I try to arrange it in a way that where there's where it doesn't feel like there's a, there's too much dissonance uh, harmonically so. Uh, I hope that that's that's good, you know, that's useful feedback. Um, because like I can hear like that there's a lot of like 
interesting ideas being thrown at it and it has a, it has a flow and it has a vibe um but again i would say like yeah my not my my the best I could do for for like feedback in for this stream would be to say that like I would uh, try to focus on something that has like more of a tonal center. I wasn't sure where the where the bottom was, if that makes any sense. But uh, uh, I like there's you know a few moments in here which just sound really really cool, especially using these uh, these choral patches that you've got. <laughs> So yeah, I feel like you could you could strip away a little bit. I, I think I, I saw that in the academy that you um, you had a lot of tracks going on, if I'm not mistaken. And there's probably you know if I had to do like a remix of the track, I'd probably be pulling things away. Um, and uh, I I know that there's always the temptation to throw lots of stuff at it. Like you know, there's I think that that's kind of something that I was probably, I'd probably been guilty of doing. Um, it's just like throwing too much at it. And, I, and generally speaking, even now I'll throw too much at a track and then I'll end up stripping away um, and realizing that less is more kind of thing. So um, yeah, hopefully that that's, hopefully that's valid uh, feedback. And uh, dude, I mean, yeah, huge props for just taking part in this challenge for for stepping up to the plate and, 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 uh, and tackling trailer, a uh, trailer track. Um, like this, it's a super tough challenge. Uh, you did a great job, and uh, I don't think Gary's in the stream at the moment, but he'll be watching this later. And um, yeah, Matt, huge props to you, man. Great work. Okay, so next up, we've got Kevin Pike. This is gonna be a two hour long stream, isn't it? I just realized that I'm going kind of slow. <laughs> oh well, what are you gonna do? Okay, Kevin Pike, uh, hybrid trailer, here we go. Nice. Great work, Kevin. Um, Kevin mentioned that uh, this is his first try at a hybrid trailer queue. Another first timer? This is amazing. Um, he says, thanks for the course. Uh, I didn't have the money for uh, trailer scream samples, so I made my own with uh, the guitar. <laughs> Very resourceful, man. Um, and some nice distortion. Cool, cool. Yeah, great work, man. Um, I love the rock vibes that you infused here. Um, really cool guitar work for sure um some nice separation between sections too uh, especially coming out of the intro um very very 
cool. Um, also, I love like those high guitar screams. By the way, um, <laughs> some of the some of the lower ones, like this kind of stuff right here. It gets a little crazy, like it's a little bit, uh, it kind of clutters the mix up a bit. Um, just a thought, I don't know if you, if it's a matter of using them less or just kind of like putting them lower, uh, like, you know, vo a volume balancing kind of thing, but um, they're a bit noisy. Uh, I might've opted to use, like overall, I might've opted to use more trailer-esque, you know, aesthetic in this one as well, even though like I love the 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 percussive stuff that's going on lots of power behind that um i just thought that maybe you know um some more like obvious like tr big trailer hits might have helped like you got one or you know you got like some like like for example this one right at the end here just like whoosh, like those kinds of things like i would have uh, maybe used a bit more of that you know here and there but um yeah, overall, man, I really loved it. Great stuff. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, okay, we got four more here. Um, Nicola, this is a track called The Long Way. And uh, Nicola just joined the Academy uh, two days ago, or may I guess a few days ago now. Uh, so welcome, welcome. And uh, I hope you're enjoying it so far. Uh, it, he mentions uh, inspiration is always around me. Um, I used ma uh, mainly native instruments, 14, uh, a couple of splice sounds. Uh, your video course really helped me in general. This is my first trailer um, on this format. Maybe I need one more day to finish, but deadline is here. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess in fairness, you didn't have a lot of time to, to work on it if you just joined. So uh, congratulations on getting it done. Uh, let's hear the track. This is called The Long Way. Nice work, nice work. Um, yeah, a few th a few thoughts uh, to share here. Uh, there's a lot that I like about this. Um, 
especially this like really, really vibey uh, intro. Uh, a really nice buildup of energy uh, in this trailer, which is which is crucial. Um, and uh, and I mean, we're saving you, you're saving a lot of like <clears throat> power for this climax, you know, which is I think is really important. Um, I wrote a few notes here. Let me find them. <laughs> Um, yeah, nice, delicate intro section, very vibey. Um, my, my criticism of, of the track and so, like my feedback overall would be that, that some of the, the hits, um, feel a bit thinned out. Like it feels like a bit high past, uh, for example, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know if uh, if it's just the samples or if it's the way you're processing them, but they feel like the the sub got kind of cut from them, uh, maybe a bit too drastically. Uh, I also might, you know, just a a little suggestion is like coming into this climax here. Like I, I like the the drum fill kind of vibe, um, but might have been cool to use a bit more space or you know kind of a, uh, take advantage of silence of um, in, or just a little bit more of a gap in between um, this like kind of build up and and uh, climax here like it's cool like I I like it um, I just thought that you know in terms of for like for the for the for the trailer editors they're gonna want you know maybe a bit more separation. Um, that that would have helped <clears throat> a little, but uh, yeah, you know what? I, I got to compliment you on this epic um, progression and melody uh, and motif throughout this climax section. Very very nice, uh, really really uh, powerful and and catchy. So um, yeah, I don't know. Something overall in the mix felt a little like clipped in in the, or not sorry not clipped, but um, like a little uh, like something got taken away from the low end or the sub subbiness of it a bit too much so just something to to think about but uh otherwise yeah like i really liked it i loved um i love the ramp up of energy you got throughout um throughout the composition and uh yeah man i'm 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 really impressed thank you so much for uh for sending this over and welcome to the academy i hope uh hope this feedback is is being useful for you okay so uh what do we got four oh sorry we got four more um Randy's next. This is a track called uh, Romantic Reverie. And does Randy have some notes for me here? Uh, Randy says, guitar is real. Everything else is from Muse Musio, um, the new subscription-based offering from CineSamples. I did not know that there was subscription offering for CineSamples. I got to check that out. Uh, also of note, I used MIDI Guitar 2. Um, to track in most of the instrumentation using my Telecaster. That's cool. You know what? I actually I actually took that for a test ride uh, a few months ago, and uh, because I'm I'm not a pianist myself, <laughs> so I was like, I wonder if I could just like start recording MIDI using Jam uh, using the, the guitar instead. Um, I was gonna do a video on it. I never got around to it, but um, it is a little finicky. I found, but I know you kind of have to like mess with the settings a bit to get it to work. But anyway, cool that you mentioned that. And uh, yeah, let's check this track out. This is called um, Romantic Reverie. Randy Lindquist, here we go.
cool. Yeah, that's something a little different. I like it. Uh, it's a really nice orchestral uh, like type vibe going on here. And, you know, this is kind of a, a reminder that not every trailer has to be like uh, like epic hybrid, um, you know, style. That's not <laughs> exclusively what we're doing. Um, here in this challenge and it can be it can be smooth and orchestral and and like kind of like laid back um, and still be a trailer right um, the the one thing I would probably point out Randy is that um, for me maybe like the one th point of feedback would be is that there's kind of like a like a, a bit of um, like a continuity sort of issue because you have this like amazing sounding guitar in the intro and in the outro. Um, and then you have, you, you kind of just totally switch gears into this orchestral um, vibe. Nothing wrong with that. I just think that if if I were, you know, um, gonna have, to, like I would, I, I guess I suppose I would find a way to sort of, to um, have some continuity with the, with the guitar vibes in the in this intro and outro and then throughout the middle section it's not like you have to play the same thing the whole time but maybe just kind of like some guitar strums throughout this whole uh you know orchestral section because like if you kept the strums or like you know some kind of guitar work through this section here i think it would have helped with the continuity factor a bit because it sounds like two very separate Kind of, it sounds like two separate compositions in the same key that were kind of attached together, uh, if that makes any sense. So, um, continuity is is important, I think, and um, I'm not sure, you know, how I would have exactly would have employed the guitar throughout this climactic section. But again, maybe just some some light strums, just so that you're connecting uh, the dots for for the guitar, because I love the guitar work. But uh, I think it could have worked throughout, um, you know, everything from here to here kind of vibe. So, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully that's, uh, that's helpful, but I love, I love the, the style of composition. It's really, really beautiful. Nice work. Um, next up we have, uh, David Sahara. Uh, Jason says, I gotta, gotta get going. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you for joining, uh, for being here, man. Glad it was helpful. And uh, yeah, big shout out to Arco too. He had to leave. I think it's bedtime where he is in India. It's getting pretty late there, <laughs> I imagine. Um, hey, welcome, Thomas. How's it going? Uh, yeah, we're we're probably this is probably going to be the longest stream I've ever done. <laughs> we got a lot of submissions, a lot of thoughts to share here. So uh, for those of you still with me, thanks for for sticking sticking it out. Um, Let's see. Uh, David sent me some notes. I believe uh, this is a track called Bada Boom. And uh, David said, first attempt at trailer uh, music. Very challenging, but wanted to give it a go. Awesome. Okay, cool. Let's, let's hear it.
powerful. Nice. Uh, awesome. Thank you so much, uh, David, for sending that over. Um, yeah, a few things I would say, I think probably most importantly is I would mention that um, the, the, the intro, I feel like you could probably benefit from more of like a, a setup towards where these drums um, kick in. Like, cause they, they just come out, they come out, you know, right out of the gates. And you are building things up, um, you know, like this, a difference in energy level between uh, between this section and the, and the climax, eh? But there is, um, I feel like you could kind of dig into more of that dif the energy differential a bit more um, and set the listener up for like, you know, bring in those drums. I would say, you know, bring them in like here. You could have like a super vibey, like, you know, uh, sort, of, sort of spacious intro uh, and, and then kind of build it up. And then, you know, you want to leave something extra special for this, uh, for this climactic section. But there's not like, you know, listening just to this and this. Not a huge difference in like, in like energy and, and, and volume. Um, other than, you know, you got a few extra like hits in play here, which is cool. But um, yeah, again, that'd be my overall feedback would be to sort of just kind of build things up a little bit more uh, gradually. But uh, yeah, I love it, man. Um, great work. And uh, thanks for sending it over. Um, just catching up with the comments here. Um, Manuel, you got a track for me? Did you send it post live stream starting? <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. There we go. Can't forget about Manuel here. Let me drag it into the stream here before I forget. Let's download it quickly. And, um, oh, didn't mean to play it. Um, but before I do that, uh, I'm going to feature, uh, Alexandra's track here. Oh, almost forgot. Alexandra sent me a movie. Let's check this out. This track is called, uh, incoming. Enjoy.
damn, super awesome. Awesome, awesome. That is just amazing. Um, Alexandra, killing it with these challenges. Uh, she mentioned that this is the most difficult challenge so far. Uh, I love the dynamic in trailer music, but what was the most challenging is creating transitions. Okay, cool. Well, um, she also mentioned if it were a trailer to a movie, the story would be uh, the story would be the following. People anticipate that soon enough artificial intelligence will go will be out of control and attack humans. So in the abandoned factory, people are trying to change the code of existing AI to prevent the disaster. <laughs> Love the narrative. Um, but eventually human beings are possessed by the AI and the AI destroys the whole world. Oh, damn, that's so dystopian. <laughs> um this story might not be very obvious from what I created using stock videos as the options uh, are limited, but I tried. No, you did a great job with the with the video. Absolutely great job. Um, <clears throat> would love to hear your feedback on music. You know what? I, I absolutely loved it. I think my favorite um, part really is just kind of like how powerful this climactic section is. I love the, the chord progression that you're using. Um, it's just like absolute full throttle power the whole way through. Like it's just got, it's just mean. It's just mean. It's, it's really, really uh, edgy. Um, and, and then of course, you know, this intro section is, you did a great job here too. This just sets everything up like, like, you know, mood wise. <clears throat> worked worked brilliantly with the photo uh, the footage in my opinion uh, if i had to give you some feedback i think it would be there's um I, this there's a few tracks that had the same issue today um I, I feel as like there might be a bit too much of a high pass situation going on with some of the hits and the percussive energy it just feels like a little bit like of that sub um, subby energy is missing from some of the from from some of the impacts. Um, not necessarily that it was feeling like um, like the bass was you know not dialed in throughout this climax, but yeah, there's just something about I can't remember exactly where it is. I don't want to scroll through the whole track again, but there's a few sections. Yeah, like for example, these. Like those trailer hits just sound a bit thin. They sound a bit thinned out. Um, and I don't know if that's the samples that you're using or if it's just the way you're processing them, but that would be my only feedback really is just to kind of like take a second look at that and make sure that you got that, like you're representing that like subby low end um, in those impacts uh, to give it like a just much more, um, I don't know, just kind of like a, just more of a smacking type feel uh, in the mix. Uh, because everything else feels really nicely dialed in. I think you did a fantastic job. So hopefully that feedback is helpful. Um, and yeah, big shout out to Alexandra for another great submission. It's fantastic work. Okay, next up, we got a track from Benjamin. Benjamin O. Uh, this is a track called Cyberpunks. And Benjamin sent me some notes here. Uh, I was very much inspired by Steve's hybrid trailer course, uh, or sorry, trailer Q. Awesome. Uh, and a couple of other tracks he showcased in the trailer trilogy course. I mainly used free re free resources, the uh, vital presets, and other free sample packs I found on the internet. Uh, it was definitely a hard challenge. This is my second trailer track and my first hybrid aggressive track, and I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Uh, didn't know I could uh, actually make something that sounded like this. Uh, since I'm, again, submitting last minute, the mixes, the mixing process didn't get much attention, so it's a bit, of a, uh, a bit rough around the edges. Okay, let's check it out.
killer, man. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Listen to this, these great transitions here. This is, I think, my favorite part of it. And this. Uh, where did you get that signature sound, man? I love that. I love the way that sounds. Yeah, this is this is fantastic. Um, I think you know. Uh, yeah, big props on like these these great transitions, the separation between your parts here. Um, <clears throat> I think that you know, if I, I had to give you any feedback, really, it's not so much a criticism of the, of the the mix or the track or anything like that. But I just wanted to point out that I really, really enjoy this this melody. I'm not sure what you're using. Maybe you can let me know in the comments. But um, so like na, da, na, na, that synth. Whatever you're using there, I feel like it should be higher. It should be it should be more present in the mix, man. Um, that's adding a lot to this climactic section. And there's not like a huge difference between volume output in your in your build up and your and your climax section. Um, you know that you're adding a few a, little, a bit more action into this into this last section, which is important. Like there's a bit more like uh, dynamics and energy and like and like trailer hits and stuff like that, but. Um, that melody that you're using, like, man, like that, that, that sounds, that patch sounds super cool. I would maybe try to find a way to, to have it be a bit more present, uh, in the mix. Like you're obviously leaving tons of room for, um, Sorry for all the sirens. I don't know if you guys can hear those. Um, I don't, you're, you're obviously leaving tons of room for like the the punchiness of the percussion to speak through the mix, and I think that that's super super important. But um, yeah, I don't know. There's something uh, kind of buried underneath it that I really really like, and uh, some part of me just wants to hear that uh, a little bit more loud and clear. Uh, that horn blast was from a few from a free sample pack. Okay, cool. Can't rem can't remember which one. Yeah, nailing the cyber cyberpunk vibe for sure. Cool, great job, Benjamin. Thanks for submitting. It's fantastic. Okay, let's grab Manuel's track here. Majestic trailer. All right, Manuel with the super last minute um, submission. <laughs> I'm glad you got it in in time. Glad I checked the comments and caught it in the comments. Um, wouldn't want to miss anybody. So uh, yeah, this is uh, uh, the last one of the stream. Wow, this is a crazy long stream. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, I've been having a, a great time. Uh, anything you want to uh, let us know in uh, in the comment section, Manuel, you just go ahead. And in the meantime, I'll play it. And uh, here we go.
cool. Very, very, very cool. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Uh, I'm glad that's a that's a great place to end this end the stream, like or a great track to end the stream on. Um, I'm glad you got that in there, uh, Manuel. I have a few thoughts listening to it. Um, I, I agree with Benjamin's comment. Um, I really like this breakdown here. This is kind of the coolest part of it for me. Kind of has like a really dark tribal feel to it there. Um, yeah, uh, a few, a few, just uh, thoughts that like that. I'll just share everything that kind of popped up in my in my mind. Composition wise, like uh, I love it. I love the ideas. Um, I love the arrangement. The um, the the one thing that first came to mind was that these kind of these pings bit a bit loud in the mix. I would probably I probably bring those down just a just a hair. Um, it felt a, vi a bit like abrasive and bright, but mostly just the fact that it, like the volume of those against like these low staccatos. Sorry, where are they? Like that riff, dun, 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 that's what I would have um, put put like right up front. Um, so just kind of like a, like a volume balance thing there. I think like that to me is like the, the sort of like the meat, meat of the, of the track is that part I would kind of was craving to hear that like a little bit more like, you know, in your face. Um, yeah. And the only other thought I sort of had was that, uh, there's, quite a, like I really uh, where, where is it exactly there's this one section these huge uh, epic brass blasts are very very cool like that's powerful as hell I love it um, the only thing I would say that is like, personally I think that they're they're oversaturated uh, and it's not that I don't think that you you know I I, I like to use a bit of saturation on uh on the percussion and and the, and the and the brass sometimes um in trailer music and um i don't think that's a bad move but in this case i don't sure that like it feels like a little bit too overcooked because sometimes that amount of saturation kind of weakens um the the impact it kind of like puts a little bit of like an like it kind of uh, curves out the edginess of it sometimes. I usually, when I saturate things like that, because it, they, it does add some interesting harmonic character to it, but I usually use it in parallel um, and, and keep it like fairly low in the mix so that I'm still retaining that kind of like that clarity and punchiness of, um, of the original, uh, you know, uh, of the sample, if that makes any sense. But that would just, um, that would be my, my two cents on it. Uh, otherwise, yeah, like I've, uh, this is a really interesting track for sure, and uh, that's cool that you dug it up from uh, from a couple of years ago. Awesome. The ping is is too loud. Fun fact: I had tons of other pings in there as well uh, that I already stripped out. <laughs> that's funny. I actually didn't use any extra saturation on the brass, but there are three or four brass tracks playing full blast at at uh, sometimes. Oh, okay, that's interesting. It definitely sounds like you had um, like a bit of like uh, decapitator or something on this. So maybe, yeah, just maybe the way it sounds with like the the the, the layering. I don't know. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah. One of them has saturation baked into it. Okay, gotcha. Well, yeah, thank you so much for, uh, for getting that into me uh, just in time. And I'm really glad I got to share it. And let me just check that I did, in fact, get everybody's in here. Yeah, 22, 22 entries or 21 entries um, for today's submission. Wow, I'm uh, I'm blown away. And I think that's probably a good place to end this stream because it's hit the two-hour mark for sure, and then some probably. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope that this was helpful for uh, for those of you who submitted. Um, tried my best to kind of like give a quick 
bit of feedback for everybody. And uh, I know some of you will be watching the stream later um, who couldn't join. And uh, yeah, big shout out to all of you. Uh, shout out to everyone in the Production Music Academy. You guys are all awesome. Can't believe how many people uh, were tackling trailer music for the first time here. It's absolutely uh, amazing. Really, really impressive. Um, and yeah, for some first time trailers, I mean, this was, I mean, I'm just really blown away as always. And uh, yeah, you guys inspire me 100%. Whew. I'm exhausted. I got to go get something to eat. I haven't had my breakfast yet. Oh, hey, Catalan. Welcome. Just caught the end. We'll rewind to my entry. Right on. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for thanks for submitting, man. Uh, I love your track. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll just end it there. And uh, for anyone who's watching who's not in the Academy, uh, check it out, productionmusicacademy.com. Uh, join the fun. Join the community. Uh, you guys are all lovely. Arco, you're still up. I thought you went to bed. <laughs> I just got a message from Elon Musk. Okay. Um, say what up to Elon for me. And uh, <laughs> wishing you guys wishing you guys all well uh, all around the world, wherever you are. And uh, yeah, awesome work by everybody indeed. Okay. Take it easy, guys. Signing off. This has been Stevie B from Production Music Academy. Wishing you all tons of love. And uh, I got to find the end stream button here. Okay. Bye-bye. Cheers, guys. <laughs>